have you guys been working on your puzzle pieces? This is a mug rug and it's in the shape of a puzzle piece but also with our puzzle piece motif on the inside. So this is what we're going to stitch along. So keep watching. Make sure you watch till the end. There's a little surprise for you guys. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be working on a cool embroidery project, project that's completely in the hoop and is absolutely fantastic. It all started off with a puzzle motif and now we're going to puzzle mug rugs and now we're going to puzzle mug rugs that fit together. So um, pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's get started at the machine. We're gonna go full tilt on this one. So the first step of course is to stitch out a guideline so you know where to put your stuff. For some reason mine is stitching out twice not cool but I'll fix that and then we're going to add the batting and the fabric now I am playing a really good game of chicken with this one and I'm double checking to make sure it fits the fabric was cut almost exactly to the right size so okay next step is we're going to stitch down both pieces oh did you see that how close was that that was a pretty good game of uh, chicken now the reason why it's stitching out this way is I need to move my start and end point so it's a little more logical how it stitches out um, really you want the start and stop points to be in pretty close to the same spot every time so it will you know look better now we are doing the um The motif stitches they're getting a good start and it's just the puzzle piece that we worked on if you haven't watched the video uh, you should look for it because it's a really cool way to make an awesome motif so this is our inception mug rug puzzle mug rug so it's a shape of a puzzle and it is a puzzle and it's a puzzle motif so and I have an idea to take that even a little bit further but this is something that we digitized right from the bit beginning of it now this is a an embroidery machine embroidery project for beginners it's uh, beginner digitizing or you know you can make it what you want so it'd be for a more advanced digitizer uh, this is really cool and it's really fun and I decided to do mine just in black and white however the variegated thread is going to look amazing on this especially around the outside with the satin stitches with the variegated thread that is so awesome so right here I just tuck the backing piece uh, underneath and we're going to stitch that down and you want to put it face down and make sure it's all covered so this stitch here although on the top it doesn't look like we're doing anything it is stitching down the back at this point when you have the back stitched down properly grab your scissors and cut it all off and try to do it as close as you can to the line I have it done here just to speed up this video and uh, it's going to do I don't think it needs to do the underlay stitches right here but the zigzag stitches are very helpful it's just gonna flatten everything down and and compress it so your satin stitches are gonna look nicer now again I'm just doing mine in black and white I just thought it would look better that way so satin stitches are going down it is starting to look gorgeous this doesn't take this is a, a really good machine embroidery project it doesn't take long to complete it so once you get the trimming done the trimming was a, a not a little bit tricky but there's a lot of corners and ins and outs and curves you could also pre-cut your fabric 
for this using your cutter machine um, quite easily do that and that would make it a lot faster and save you a lot of time but if not like me just cut it out just take your time and make sure that you have a nice trim take your time on it uh, you don't want pieces hanging out you want it to look really good there's our zigzag stitch again and I had a little technical issue right there the machine kind of got caught up in its own thread but that's okay it was easy to fix we're almost done now this is going to look amazing oh also don't forget when you are um after you trim it and you're just about to stitch the back the satin stitches front and back make sure you put a new bobbin in because you want the bobbin to match the thread and yes if you're using variegated thread wind some of that in your bottom part it'll have the same effect similar effect to the top now I'm just doing black and white so I just left mine white and it looks perfect I should do more things in white because I never actually remember to switch the bobbin so meh, there you go so we're almost done here I'm doing just for fun a little motif uh, stitch over the top I was gonna try to do a little puzzle motif stitch but nah it's too complicated and the satin stitches I don't want to make them any wider so I just did an X all the way down and I made it a little bit bigger so it'll hold everything in now look we're almost done that was so easy to do and it looks so good and you can just keep making tons of these the thing to keep watching for is we're going to give you the pattern for three pieces a mug rug and a placemat that'll fit all together and that is our gift for you you will find that in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group and there'll be three files for you there and I want to see everybody stitch out their well if you put enough together you could make a table runner you put less together and you can make um, a placemat and you have one or two and you can make a mug rug so puzzle it up ladies uh, get out your variegated thread this is a perfect project for that and get stitch stitching your inception puzzle and it's a lot of fun so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys like this video please remember to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel and uh you share this around there'll be a lot of people that'll really really enjoy doing this puzzle inception puzzle mug rug so spread it around everything's for free and have tons of fun i'll see you guys in the next video bye